Ho, 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 hello everybody and welcome to today's video, a very exciting and very special video because we officially have the newest version of the DOTS packages available. That's right, Entities 0.50 is out in the wild. We can go download it, play around with it. All very exciting stuff. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video, talking about the release of Entity 0.50, some of the things that are included with it, and so on. Now, of course, I'm going to be doing much more hands-on videos, going you know a lot deeper into these specific features, you know, showing you how they work. A lot of exciting things coming up. And speaking of exciting things coming up, I have something very special to announce. So next week, if you're watching this when this goes live, is GDC, the Game Developers Conference. So not only am I going to be attending GDC in person this year. Uh, once again, finally, you know, so excited that GDC is in person once again. But I will also be co-hosting a Q&A panel. So it's going to be uh, myself and Laurent Gibert. He's uh, basically the product manager of Dots. He kind of oversees all of Dots development. So we're going to be co-hosting a Q&A panel with some Dots developers, basically talking about you know their experience developing with Dots and talking about kind of some of the roadmap going forward. So it's going to be a very exciting thing. Um, it's going to be taking place on Wednesday, March 23rd at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And that is going to be available on YouTube. Unity's Twitch channel, so you can go ahead and watch it live there. So again, very excited for that. And of course, major thank you to Unity for inviting me to, you know, have this opportunity of, you know, co-hosting this Q&A stream. So anyways, let's get to the main topic of today's video, which is Entities 0.50. So we're going to be going over this forum post from Matt Fouad. He's, uh, you know, someone who's also kind of on the upper management team over at the, the Dots team. And so he basically posted this whole uh, article here where it has, um, you know, a lot of just uh, the you know improvements that were made in entity 0.50 so again we're going to kind of just do like a high level overview here and then you know maybe in a future video coming up very soon we're going to uh, go into some of the more specifics about you know how to actually use these specific things so anyways he starts off by saying we have just published a new experimental version of entities and other ecs packages that include nearly 1.5 years worth of bug fixes api cleanups and performance improvements so that is just a great way to start this post. Um, you know, glad to know that you know they have been working this whole time, even though that there haven't been a whole lot of releases over the past you know year and a half or so. However, this 0.50 update comes with many welcome improvements that um, you know I'm excited to be talking about today. So um, they do say, by the way, if you are starting, they do have a new installation and setup guide, which is going to show you how to create a new project. I probably will do a video kind of detailing how to do this. Um, also, there's an upgrade guide that shows you, you know, all the changes that you'll need to make to your project if you're upgrading from 0.17 up to 0.50. Again, probably I'll be some, something that I'll be making a video on very soon. Now, one thing to point out is this does require Unity version 2020.3.30. So I think that's pretty much the most like recently available one. Um, so just go make sure you download that before playing around with Entity 0.50. Anyways, continuing on, they do say that uh, you know experimental releases are not supported or recommended for production, but provide early access to those who want to try out ECS in their projects. So again, just calling out and making it clear that even though we have this new awesome and big update, this is still very much an experimental preview package. So anyways, specifically what updated, we have updates to the entities package, hybrid render, net code, unity physics, havoc physics. So those are all kind of the experimental ones and also the uh, you know full in production ones. They've made, made updates to burst, collections, job and mathematics libraries. Now, one thing you don't see in this list is the dots animation package. Package. The dots animation package is not compatible with entities 0.50 and looking deeper into the roadmap It appears that the ECS based dots animation package is not planned until after the full 1.0 release of entities And another thing that I do want to point out is they go on to say that many of these changes and fixes in this release Were a direct result of feedback we received from the forum and reported bugs So, you know, absolutely if you're in my audience and you're, you know, super excited about unity ECS and you're using this all the time time make sure you are making your feedback heard of course in the forums as well as uh, you know reporting bugs if you do find them because you know now is the time to change and make the development experience for you know the future developers of ECS so you know there are probably many more changes that are going to happen so, um, so you know definitely keep that feedback coming they are listening to it and making continual improvements now let's get into some of the actual changes so 
check this one out. This one is one that I am really excited about. There have been a ton of improvements to the Unity Editor workflow. If we just kind of expand this and go around here, you can get you know a quick little preview about what's going on. Of course, you know I'm going to be doing a, a pretty deep dive into all these things here. But basically, what I've seen in my experimentation with it so far is just you know a really cleaned up workflow. Of course, with uh, ECS, there's you know a logical separation of entities, components, and systems. And you know although these things are you know separate and they're you know different things they you know have a lot of relations to each other so of course entities have components and components are affected by systems and so on so you know it, it really provides these nice relationships where basically we can you know look at an entity and we can see the components on them and we can you know click on that component and it's going to give us some more information about that and we can see you know what systems are acting upon those components and if they have read or write access to them so these are just you know a lot of really useful tools to have and it's really just going to improve our debugging and development workflow so this is you know really great stuff to have also they do go on to say that they do have two new profiler modules so there's an entity structural changes profiler module which basically requires records which worlds and systems produce structural changes and kind of gives you some information about how costly that is so that's something that's you know going to be very useful for us also there's an entities memory profiler module which can record which worlds and systems allocates memory chunks with additional details per archetype so again just you know more information on the memory side so that is great to have and one thing to note is these things are basically just built into the main com.unity.entities packages there's no longer a need to add the com.unity.dots.editor package, um, which was just kind of some you know extra little editor tools that you know kind of gave a, a basic version of this functionality. Um, however, it wasn't something that was really like you know advertised, and it wasn't necessarily always included when you added in the uh, entities packages to your project. So I know there were a lot of people who you know didn't even use the dots editor stuff just because they didn't know that that was an option to them. However, in the newer version, you know all that stuff is baked in by default. And so this is just you know going to really improve the workflow for everybody. So of course they made some improvements to the API. So the system base type has been simplified a little bit. So definitely excited to see what that's all about. They've added this new entities.with filter where you can pass in a native array on entities. So your entities.foreach iterates only over a certain set of entities, which is kind of cool to have. Another one is the iJob entity job interface. This one I'm really excited to dive into a little bit more because actually uh, one of the developers of this feature, he's over in our Discord. Discord community. Uh, so definitely come over and, uh, you know, say hello to Danny over in our Discord. Just go to tmg.dev slash Discord. And of course, moving along, there's some more improved debugging functionality. So there's, you know, definitely some important things in there. Of course, I'll be, you know, going into, the, into these in much more detail. There's also some netcode updates with some cool things in there for making multiplayer games. Um, also, hybrid render has now been updated. So hybrid render version two is now the default option moving forward. You can't even use the hybrid render V1 in the newer versions. So this does mean that your project does need to be using uh, at least the universal render pipeline or the high definition render pipeline um, in order to take advantage of the hybrid render V2, uh, which again is by default. So you can't use the built-in render pipeline uh, with the newest versions of Unity Dots. And then also there have been some updates to the Unity Physics and Havoc packages. So uh, one cool one is that collision and trigger events now share a common interface and simulation systems have been refactored to allow multiple physics worlds. Uh, so definitely some interesting things to pick apart in there. So that's kind of the state of where things are at right now. I would also highly recommend, um, you know, you go check out the entities installation and setup, as well as the uh, upgrading from 0 0.17 to 0 0.50 and kind of picking through some of the change logs to, you know, get a full idea of everything that has changed in, you know, the year and a half since then. You know, this is, you know, absolutely a big update. So you know we barely even scratched the surface about things that have been updated and by the way if you're looking forward to you know what's to come i would also highly recommend this blog post from laurent gibert i will post a link to this down in the description below once again i am going to be doing a live q a with laurent during gdc week uh, again that's going to be taking place on wednesday the 23rd at 4 p.m pacific time we are going to be live on unity's twitch channel so go check us out on there again we're just going to be talking about dots kind of the plan moving forward and kind of some you know 
know, developers' experiences with using it. And then finally, one last thing I promise I did just want to point out that Unity Dots does officially have a public roadmap available. So you can come check this out. I will, you know, again, post a link to this. And so you can kind of go through here and see, you know, what things that they're planning on working on. So you can, you know, click on each of these and it kind of has a little bit more detail about them. And at the bottom, you can kind of give some, you know, important feedback about, um, you know, if this is a nice to have important or critical feature and kind of give a little bit more context about why, yeah, that feature is important to you. So anyways, with that being said, that's going to wrap up today's video. What are you doing still watching this video? Go download Entities 0.50, play around with it, have fun, break things. Um, let me know what you want to learn more about. Of course, I'm going to be making a ton of videos on these things. I'm so excited that it's finally out. Um, I have a lot of really cool things planned, so definitely stay tuned for all that. So anyways, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you hit that like button, also feel free to subscribe to the channel for lots more videos about Unity's Entity Component System and the Data Orange Technology Stack. Of course, if you do have any questions for me or suggestions for future videos, I'd really appreciate it if you leave those down in the comment section below or come join us over on Discord over at tmg.dev discord. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.